The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Championship Wrestling presented by Pro Shingle. It's Saturday afternoon in the 901. That can only mean one thing. It's bell time. I am Dustin Starr alongside my lovely Maria. The PP3 semifinals are set, but Nico Marquez has given the participants a week off, so they will be fresh and ready to deliver at the same level as the tournament rolls on. There will be no excuses then. This week, we are absolutely loaded. We'll see the Wolf Zaddies in tag team action after their strong win over one of the fastest rising teams in Wasted Youth. Their opponents today, they better be ready. On top of that, we will see one of United Wrestling Network's most decorated tag teams ever compete, the Rockness Monsters, thanks to some exclusive footage from the Middle Kingdom Wrestling all the way from Shenzhen, China. Rockness has been wrapped up at Area 51 since last fall but their spaceship must have made a quick stop in China just for this match. I am rolling my eyes. Plus, <laughs> in today's main event, Royce Isaacs and Jamie Iovine will make an open challenge for the United TV title, but this time they've ensured it was sanctioned by Nico Marquez, or as Jamie says, doesn't want to hear any crying this time. Oh, okay. I can't wait to see who that could be. Who's going to answer <laughs> that call? Well, we're going to find out. But first, let's head to ringside with Todd and Andrew right now, where we will kick things off with the monstrous Heritage Championship. Champion Watts. Oh, yeah. The following contest is a non title singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Redwood City, California, weighing in at 185 pounds, Jack Banning. A huge opportunity for this youngster, but it's going to be scary for him. What did we they know say that his the, name was? Uh, we know that the champions of championship wrestling from Hollywood will be in the house, including the Heritage Champion in this opening contest. And introducing his opponent, he is the Hollywood Heritage Champion. This is Watts. The dominant Heritage Champion Watts. Stu Stone, a lot of history with this monster and you, once part of the family Stone. Watts, I'm so happy to see this guy on top where he belongs. He is the champion for a reason. Nobody dominates like Watts. And listen, this guy has put in the work. He's been a part of this program since the very beginning, just like you and I, Todd. And look, look, look who's standing on top of the mountain now with the, all the gold, Watts. Now you talk about a dominating force. What an amazing way to kick off this week's episode. There he is, the mountain of a man, the monster of a man. That man is Watts. Big Nasty, the squash god, call him what you will. Compton look, Killer, he's had all kinds of names. Look at the eyes there of Jack Banning. He knows that uh, he is in for one heck of a fight, but Jack certainly has some size, looks to be a great athlete. And what a huge opportunity. You saw, it, you know, Frankie Frank last week in our main event came within an eyelash of pulling off of a huge, a huge upset. Well, as long as as long as Banning doesn't do anything to make him mad. Oh, okay. Geez. Well, there so it much is. for that. Throw that out the Goodbye, window. Goodbye, Banning. I mean, uh, I don't know if that was the right decision there, but what do I know about people named Jack making good decisions? Oh man, back to the drawing board. Well, tell me about it. On Netflix, Todd. Here we go with Watts, the champ, and I don't expect uh, you know Watts doesn't get paid by the hour here. No, this is going to be a very quick one, guaranteed. Watts. I'd be surprised if he even started breaking a sweat against Mr. Banning. Banning already made him very, very mad. Very pivotal mistake as now Watts has him up at least five feet in the air. This isn't going to be a good landing for Banning. Yeah, a little something extra on that backbreaker. Trying to break Banning in half into the cover. Goes the Heritage Champion. Only accounted two. Watts coming off of a very unique matchup for the Heritage title at Milestone against the Stroke Daddy, Ricky Starks. What a great title defense that was for Watts. Starks really gave Watts a run for his money. Look out here, big fall away slam. 
Man. Oh, and you know what? That always comes in pairs. And Banning might have made a very smart move. He, he rolled out of the ring, and so Wise can't give him the second one. I think that on purpose. I think that was pure momentum. Yeah. Oh, just a very smart move. Very smart thinking by Banning. Very good. Oh. Well, actually, now that you mentioned it, that was pretty smart. Heads up move there by Jack Banning. Looking for, oh, oh he got a bit of the throw there to get the big man down with the neck breaker. Reached up on the second effort, but only gets the count of one. Jack looking to climb the beanstalk there. Yeah, I said it. Ah, yeah, it was great. It was great. He five fo fum. Look out here. He's got the front face lock. Looking for, I don't know if he's looking for a fisherman suplex or whatever he's looking for. Not good. And you may dispense with the pleasantries. You Choke can force count with authority. to a million. Sorry, Todd. That's all right. Here is your winner, Watts. I mean, there's not much to show here in the Let's replay. Take, we could watch the whole match. Yeah. But let's look back. The action brought to you by Bash Boxing. You see the attempt there, the big neck breaker there by Banning, but in the end gets caught into the choke force. The dominant champion reigns on. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, standing tall, doing this company proud. And standing by our own John Roberts, here to get a word with the big man. Let's hear it one more time for the Hollywood Heritage Champion, Watts. A uh, champ, congratulations on your victory there. But as you know, it is PP3 Cup season. And uh, well, you've reaped the benefits of being the cup bearer before, but now the target seems to be on your back. Any words for the locker room? Here's the thing. I don't think anyone back there is stupid enough to come after me. But, in case they do, here's some advice. You come at the king, you best not miss. Mm. Strong words from the Hollywood Heritage Champion. Don't go anywhere, folks. We will be right back to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Memphis weather can be tricky, and so can repairing a roof but not with Pro Shingle. Complicated insurance claims are easy with Pro Shingle. They'll handle that process for you. Pro Shingle offers free estimates and have financing plans in place so they can help you right now. Be sure to ask about their new roof shampoo. Locally owned and operated, fully licensed and insured, it's the simple choice. Go to ProShingle.com, 901-258-6503 and let Pro Shingle help today. Real quick, Maria, I want to do a big shout out to my old buddy, Brian Tremell. He has a fun wrestling podcast over at STSPod.club. Hey, I've been on that podcast. You sure have, and so have I, and a whole list of others. That's STSPod.club. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is Saturday, February 29th for AEW Revolution. Arrive early for the best seating plus. Mention Championship Wrestling and get unlimited video games for the entire night. Dave & Buster's Wolf Chase. Our birthday bash is coming up and you're invited. It's the Championship Wrestling Birthday Bash presented by Pro Shingle. Live at AutoZone Park on Saturday, April 25th. Oh yeah, tickets available at ChampionshipWrestlingMemphis.com. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one call. Introducing first from their safe space in Silicon Valley at a combined weight of 360 pounds. Brendan Devine and Daniel Luna, the Millennials. Millennials set for tag team action. Kind of a theme of the day. Later on, we're gonna see the Rock Nest Monsters from Shenzhen, China at Middle Kingdom Wrestling. But right now we see the Millennials, Brendan Devine, Daniel Luna set for action, and they've got a tough test. Millennials don't like to work hard. This isn't gonna be good for them. Well, they're, look, they're working hard right now. They're promoting their match on social media. That's hard work to me. And introducing their opponents, hailing from Meat Mountain at a combined weight of 483 pounds. Latino meat, Shea Cabrera, and Bad to Tito, the Wolf Saddies. Linking together some victories, big victory back at Milestone over the Classic Connection. Coming off of a win over Wasted Youth. Wasted Youth brought their A game to everything they could at this dominant team. Came up short, 
And now, in the sights of the Wolf Zaddies are the Millennials. Millennials don't look too scared to me. They look pretty much confident. You see Divine didn't even drop his phone there. They're ready for this match. Who knows? The Wolf Zaddies might, be, uh, might suffer an upset today. Well, they watched a few YouTube tutorials on how to take on Latino meat hmm. and the bad dude. See if it pays off. Maybe they're uh, joined TikTok. A couple uh, game walkthroughs. You may want to turn around. Maybe uh, someone needs to send him a DM, let him know the match started. Yeah, send it uh, with urgency. Uh-oh. That's a big bad wolf right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Divine making a very smart move there. Just go ahead and heading on home. That's a very, very smart move by, by Divine. Better make a house made of bricks and fast. Headlock by the bad dude Tito, former Heritage champion, tag team champion. And just all around ass kicker. Drop down there by Daniel Luna. And hip toss with authority by the bad dude. Excuse me. Yeah, bad dude definitely asserting his dominance in that ring in the early going. Oh. Into the cover now. What a slam that was. We saw him once power slam somebody by their neck <laughs> in recent history. Tag is made to Latino meet Che Cabrera. Oh, gosh. This is great. These Wolf Zaddies are incredible. Into the cover. Of course, Che Cabrera in the best shape I've ever seen him in. He really is. He looks phenomenal. And you know you could thank Howdy Price for that. Well, he's lifting some steers on the Price Check Ranch back in the day. Came so close to defeating Watts for the Heritage title, and that's saying something, because we saw how dominant the big man, the dominant champion is. King Watts. King Watts, if you come at him, don't miss, as he said. And now Latino meet, full head of steam. Look at this, belly to belly, overhead throw. Talk about getting unfriended. He's trying to cancel these millennials. Tag now, frequent tag is what we're talking about. Dominant tag team wrestling is very cohesive. Tagging in and out very, very closely. As Daniel Luna now too makes the tag, very, very surprising that he would want to go in there and get any bit of bad dude Tito. For that very reason right there. High elevation backdrop there. So dominant are the Wolves at. He's looking phenomenal. Senton from the outside, inside, into the cover. Body positioning. They've cut off the ring now. I mean, how are you going to contend with these guys? I talked about the likes of, you know, the, the uh, tribe and... And, and such, you know, Reno Scum, the dominant teams in the day from this program, and the Wolf Zaddies might top Family them all. Family Stone. Family Stone, sure. What is Cedric the Hitman up to these days? He's unconscious. <laughs> if I had to guess. Inziguri, though, by Daniel Luna, makes the tag to Brendan Devine. Double teaming might be their best recipe for success here to try and even the odds. Looking good right now. And we talked about it before, that cohesive, that cohesiveness that you have to have in a tag team. Wow. And these two have it all, boy, howdy. Let me tell you something. They are now controlling this match. Going for the win here. Only a count. Big Oops. victory here. Imagine if they could knock off the Zaddies. These entitled kids could be in contention for titles. Absolutely. Can you imagine how many likes that would get? I don't know. Might get some of those frowny faces, too, you know? You hold like, down the like yeah, button? Yeah, no, I, I've, I've seen your page before. Yeah. <laughs> Loaded with them. Oh, wait a minute. Look at the distraction here. These guys taking advantage, just like millennials do. Taking advantage of the... Oh, oh wait a minute. Turnabout is fair play. Che with a two for one. You know what we call that? Bogo. It's buy one, get one. Yes. Ah, okay. All right. He had it. He had it. He had it. He had to get it up to me. But yeah, I get it. That's funny. Launching there was Cabrera. Tags in the bad dude, more of the same. And despite their best efforts, the Millennials getting taken to task at the moment. Millennials fought very vigorously for a very short amount of time. That's not gonna be enough against these two. What do we have in store here now? Oh my goodness. Jeez. Hope they have a trust fund. Here's the cover. And Brendan Devine breaks it up. Gonna be tough to go to the pay window today. Their student loans might be in trouble. Brendan Devine may not have made a very Smart decision. You know, it's one thing to lose the match, it's another to lose. Oh! 
future matches because you're too injured to compete. A couple of Mack trucks against a Prius here. I have a Prius. There's nothing wrong with a Prius. Spinebuster, look out here, yeah. looking for that big satisfaction. Wow, that's amazing. You can count to a billion. Here are your winners, the Wolf Zaddies. Wolf Zaddies, dominant victory. Speaking of great tag team action, we are now gonna be taking you to Shenzhen, China to catch up with the Rock Nest Monsters and their travels to Middle Kingdom Wrestling. Attention Jewel users. If you are a young adult or the parent of a minor who used a Jewel device and suffered serious health problems, including nicotine addiction, nicotine poisoning, seizures, stroke, heart or lung problems, multiple cavities, or mental health problems, you may be entitled to significant compensation. Call the number on your screen or visit jewelhurt.com immediately for a free consultation. We are the dreamers. We changed the world. Because we don't give up. IU can help you live your dream. IU is an online college, so your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. You receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. Call IU, then tell them your dream. Call 1-800-604-0483. That's 1-800-604-0483. The all-new Championship Wrestling Podcast is presented by Be Free CBD. Hosted by Dustin Starr, we'll recap all the action, look ahead to what's coming up next, plus insights on the hottest feuds. BeFreeCBD.com joins forces with Championship Wrestling to help you be and feel your best. It's Tracy Lawrence Live at Crossroads Arena in Corinth, Mississippi, Thursday, February 13th with special guest Ricochet and also Brian Moffitt. Tickets are on sale now at CrossroadsArena.com. It's another Eat and Greet event brought to you by Commerce Street Market. Featuring selfies with 15-year-old recording artists from The Voice, Greg and Strange, plus yummy food from the veteran-owned Two Buck Grilled Cheese Truck. Bring the whole family. There's no cover. Greg and Strange will be there Saturday, February 15th from 12 to 2. Join us. You're invited. That's Commerce Street Market, Mississippi's favorite one-stop shop. Showered by bills? It's raining cash at 745 Cash. Title loans, payday loans. I got $400. I got $2,500. And they even gave me $2 bills. I'm not a customer, but I referred my brother and got $100 referral cash. Why go anywhere else? We'll buy your loan from any competitor. Just go to 745cash.com and get started now. Go for the gold with a gold and title loan. 745 Cash. Hey, Memphis wrestling fans. Easy Flea Tattoos over at Pure 13 is bringing me into AutoZone Park on Saturday, April 25th to do two things. Number one, hang out with you, the fans, during the VIP meet and greet. And then number two, I'm going to kick some butt. Don't wait. Buy your tickets now over at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. As promised, taking a look in Shenzhen, China, as part of Middle Kingdom Wrestling's Bash at the Bay and our very own Rock Nest Monsters touchdown in the Saurian 2 for battle. Yuma BHK ready to go. I guess someone who wasn't ready to go, supposedly gonna be my guest commentator, professional Peter Avalon. He just walked by, put his finger to his lips and shushed me. Give me a break, I guess I'm gonna go at it alone. But two guys that are never alone, Yuma and BHK ready to battle. What an atmosphere. Take it all in, just proof positive how the best of championship wrestling from Hollywood going around the world. And now we take a look at the opposition first, Bamboo Crusher. Been wrestling only about a year and a half, but he was under the tutelage of our very own Dickie Mayer, so expect him to be very aggressive. Certainly is an impressive competitor, part of the tag team of PK Mode. Player Keller Motes. We got a couple gamers in BHK here and uh, Bamboo Crusher. Second member of PK Mode, Black Mamba, but will he be deadly in this one? 
a little bit more experience under his belt, four years, but they have been a uh, top tag team here in Middle Kingdom Wrestling, the premier organization when it comes to professional wrestling in China. You'll recall not that long ago, uh, the stars of championship wrestling from Hollywood, instrumental in action in China. Back then it was Wenzhou China when the 10 pounds of gold were on the line. Now we bring you to Shenzhen for tag team action. And great production, great atmosphere. And the Rock Death sponsors who've traveled all the way around the outer reaches of space. Touchdown in, Wen in uh, Shenzhen, China, rather, and this should be a good one. We'll see if they'll have to adapt their style. Certainly knowing the trainer of PK Mode uh, will maybe tell them a little bit of what to expect. I'm sure that Dickie Mayer has these two team of PK mode ready for action. And it looks like it's gonna be Yuma kicking things off as BHK on the outside, momentarily. Gonna be Yuma kicking things off with Bamboo Crusher. See how the fans react. Certainly a chance for our own Rock Death Monsters to test their skills in the international scene. Somebody else who has wrestled at Middle Kingdom Wrestling, professional Peter Avalon. Again, supposed to join me on commentary, shushed me, walked off. Disrespect, what are you gonna do? Professional, I think not. But here we see the agility from Yuma in the early going. Gonna test the fundamental skills of PK mode. Yuma elects to run over Bamboo Crusher in the early going. Ironically enough, it was the crusher that got crushed with that shoulder block. Hard to keep up speed with the Rock Nest Monsters. Bamboo Crusher doing a fine job thus far and earning the respect of Yuma. Yuma BHK many times over the United Tag Team Champions. So a huge match, suckered him in. Yuma knows every trick in the book. And that's where the experience comes into play. Again, Bamboo Crusher, only about a year and a half in as a professional wrestler. Nice trip on the outside by BHK. Coming in, attacking from all angles, Sintons of plenty. Double team offense at its finest, and that's what we've come to expect from Rock Ness. Looking good in the early going. Certainly not looking jet lagged at this point in the action. Tag is made. Here comes Mamba. Black Mamba, four year veteran. And just, I can just see the body language. Again, you think the tutelage of Dickie Mayer, I just have a feeling that Mamba is gonna be aptly named, gonna be a great striker. And we'll see, the pace slows. And that might be to the advantage of Mamba who checks in here. Collar and elbow tie up. And so powerful is BHK, you can see him start to push his opponent back, bull rushing him to the corner, deceptively strong is BHK. See if we get a clean break. No, oh, <laughs> playing mind games. Rock Ness is having a little bit of fun using their veteran wares and keeping PK mode off balance. Trying to make PK mode look like a couple of default skins in the early going. Rear waist lock now by Mamba. Nice standing switch by BHK, fundamental wrestling, and that might be right where PK mode needs to be. Swing and a miss, and miss it with the drop kick as BHK will see if Mamba can capitalize. Fools rush in, Mamba knows this, and a beautiful drop kick measured BHK and takes the former tag team champion down with the big strike. As advertised, drops the big knee. A fixture of professional wrestling in the Far East. And BHK in trouble, rolls over to his corner, and Yuma checking back in. So Mamba able to get the advantage for PK mode here in Shenzhen, China. Exclusive action brought to you here through the United Wrestling Network, one of our big international partners. Flying punch there by Black Mamba is striking his bin on point. Taking advantage in the matchup. Yuma in the wrong part of town at the moment. Flatliner by Mamba. Is Mamba gonna go for the cover? 
elects not to. He's got Yuma in big time trouble. See how this plays out. Might have been a mistake. I think he might have had Yuma down there had he elected to go for the win. Mamba trying to capitalize, keep the offensive going. Nobody home there, tag is made. BHK checks in, timely tag as Yuma was in some trouble. Here's some of that classic double team offense. Double your pleasure, double your fun, but not if you're Mamba. Mamba might be de-venomized after that classic double team offense. BHK looking for the cover, looking for the victory. Only a count of two. Member of PK mode able to kick out. Rock Nest Monsters back in control of this exclusive international tag team match. We'll be back with more of the action right after this. Hey fans, would you like to live in downtown Memphis without paying downtown prices? Well, you're in luck. The venue is Midtown's finest retro living in Memphis with award-winning renovations. See for yourself, 901-276-3100. Severe weather can mean storm damage to the roof of your home. If you have a leak and need a repair, need a brand new roof, or just need a simple cleaning, let Pro Shingle help today. Go to ProShingle.com or call 901-258-6503. Our birth Bash is coming up and you're invited. It's the Championship Wrestling Birthday Bash presented by Pro Shingle live at AutoZone Park on Saturday, April 25th. Oh yeah, tickets available at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Welcome back everyone to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood exclusive international action from Middle Kingdom Wrestling's Bash at the Bay in Shenzhen, China throughout the break. Our home team, the Rock Nest Monsters, maintaining control of this matchup against PK Mode. And tag is made, Yuma back in. Rock Nest Monsters throughout the break, frequent tags, staying fresh, dishing out the punishment. We'll see if PK Mode can rally back, get back in this thing, as Mama has been isolated for his team. The teamwork on the side of Rock Nest. There you see Yuma using his assets. And Maintaining control. Uh-oh, look out here. Not where you want to be. Oh, no. Unique offense, to say the least, by the Rock Nest Monsters. Into the cover. And BHK now taking control. Just interesting cover here. And powering out all the body weight down. Mamba able to power out of that. That snake almost got flattened there by that cover of BHK. Body positioning now, BHK staying between Mamba and a tag to Bamboo Crusher, who was instrumental in the early going of this matchup, but hasn't seen much action since. So if Mamba can make the tag, expect a fresh Bamboo Crusher to come in and do some damage. If this hometown Shenzhen crowd will get behind PK mode. Trying to make Bamboo Crusher an odd factor. Super kick by BHK. Dividing, conquering. Rock Ness might be on their way to victory here. Yuma realizes it. Double hook of the legs. That's going to do it. No. Only a count of two. Mamba is tough. But now, after the striking of BHK, the wear down tactics here by Yuma. True student of the game. Knows how to take you out in a hurry. Close look at the action there by BHK. And desperation suplex. Puts all that body weight down as Mamba turns in midair. That suplex into, in essence, a cross body. Nice offense there by Mamba, but can he make the tag? Here the crowd here in Shenzhen, the sights, the sounds of championship wrestling from Hollywood on the international scene here. United Wrestling Network going global. Oh, referee caught a piece of that. As did PHK, now more coming the way of Yuma here. Inverted DDT, Yuma in trouble. Bamboo Crusher really uncorking the offense. 
He might be the Dragon Warrior. Look out here, dive to the outside. Take a seat, BHK, right there in the front row. Bamboo Crusher making a fine showing of himself since making that tag. And good thing too, because Mamba certainly is exhausted after being isolated for such a long time. You're never safe when you're in there with BHK. He can use any environment as a launch pad, as a weapon. We see it here. Asai Moonsault on the outside. Crowd here in Shenzhen appreciate, well, I guess that translates in any language. Appreciating the action. Bamboo Crusher finds himself outside of his natural habitat with Rock Ness. Mamba checks back in, big shot to BHK. Really measured him with that. You got Yuma and Mamba back inside. A lot, it seems the official gonna allow them to do battle. Don't believe they're the two legal men in this matchup, however. We'll see how it plays out. A big dive there. BHK slides right in between there, in between the post. Beautifully done. BHK will attack you from all angles. He would be a, a geometry student's worst nightmare. Flying knee by Yuma. Is that going to do it? Bamboo Crusher in big time trouble here. Look out, look out, explosive amnesia. Oh, they've won tag team titles with that. Are they gonna hit pay dirt here in China? How close was that? How on earth did Bamboo Crusher find a way to slip a shoulder out? That's one of Rock Ness's signature moves. They won countless matches all over the galaxy with that. Not enough, however, what action? Tag is, what are we gonna see now? Maybe weapons grade balonium eventually, who knows? Mamba's gotta get back on the apron. His partner's in trouble. Rock Ness was looking for another double team move. I think we're looking to score yet again. Look out here. Tornado Bulldog. Yuma in big trouble. Double underhook. I'll oh, put a bow on it. Variation of a package, power bomb, double pin. Will they get the double win? Here's the cover. PK mode. Get some huge XP points. Bamboo Crusher and Black Mamba getting the victory. Big time upset, at least for fans of championship wrestling from Hollywood. Maybe the Rock Ness Monsters indulging in a little too much of that Chinese KFC. Maybe a little sluggish there as the match got into deep water, but great action nonetheless. I thought Rock Ness had it when they hit the explosive amnesia. Thought for sure that was gonna be the one, two, three. Was not the case. PK Mode hung in there and beat them at their own game because PK Mode with great double team offense in the end, but look at the pageantry the atmosphere, and certainly Rock Nest Monsters, great ambassadors of the United Wrestling Network taking the show on the road. And with this talent exchange program, maybe we'll see some great competitors from the Far East heading our way. Hope you enjoyed this exclusive action. More of Championship Wrestling from Hollywood coming your way right after this. Welcome to the Championship Wrestling Control Center presented by At CW30's Wrestling official YouTube channel. Catch all the highlights, web exclusives, plus every single episode in full, absolutely free. Take that subscribe button to Slap City at CW30 Wrestling on YouTube. And also, you can enjoy the brand new Championship Wrestling podcast presented by Be Free CBD every Monday. If you're just joining us, we kick things off with our resident monster and current heritage champion Watts defeating a newcomer in his usual dominant fashion. Yeah. The champ had some post-match comments for the competitors in the PP3 Cup and is clearly not afraid of whoever may try to cash it in for his title. Oh yeah, the Wolf <laughs> Zaddies were in tag team action again this week as well. And I know Tomaste, he was scouting potential challengers for the tag team titles. And after three victories in a row since debuting as a team, I think the Soul Burners should look no further than the Wolf Zaddies. 
The United Tag Team Division has always been one of the best in any promotion in the world, mm -hmm. and things look to be heating up with some fresh new teams. But don't forget, whoever wins the PP3 Cup could come out of nowhere, win the tag titles, and throw the entire division off their game. Speaking of off their game, we just saw the Rock Nest Monsters lose to a relatively new team in the Middle Kingdom Wrestling's PK Mode. Black Mamba and Bamboo Crusher have only been wrestling a few years, but clearly did their due diligence in studying tape because Rockness had wiped out half of PK mode and took a little extra time setting up the avalanche variation of their explosive amnesia. Black Mamba caught BHK up top and Bamboo Crusher took out Yuma, leading towards the biggest win of their entire career. Tough loss in a new land, but I was just happy to see Rockness back on the program. Really? <laughs> Don't go anywhere, okay. folks. Your main event is an open challenge for Royce Isaac's United TV title, and it is actually sanctioned by Nico Marquez this time. You remember what happened last time. <laughs> Who's going to answer the challenge this time? We'll find out right after the break. Stay tuned. It's Tracy Lawrence Live at Crossroads Arena in Corinth, Mississippi, Thursday, February 13th with special guest Ricochet and also Brian Moffitt. Tickets are on sale now at CrossroadsArena.com. Dustin and Maria here to tell you about the newly renovated Green Line Apartments. Conveniently located just minutes from shopping, dining, and the U of M, plus easy access to the Green Line. You will love this community. See for yourself, 901-276-3100. We are the dreamers. We changed the world because we don't give up. IU can help you live your dream. IU is an online college, so your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. You receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. Call IU, then tell them your dream. Call 1-800-604-0483. That's 1-800-604-0483. The all-new Championship Wrestling Podcast is presented by Be Free CBD. Hosted by Dustin Starr. We'll recap all the action, look ahead to what's coming up next, plus insights on the hottest feuds. BeFreeCBD.com joins forces with Championship Wrestling to help you be and feel your best. All right, folks, welcome back to the program. John Roberts here, and uh, I'm trying to get a word with, th with this man right here, none other than Levi Shapiro. Levi, welcome back to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. It's been some time since we've seen you, and, well, a couple weeks ago, it was a very different scenario than this cool, calm, collected one right now. Uh, we saw you attack a man who I thought was your best friend in Buddy Royal. It seems that uh, things are a little different now. Well, you're right, John Roberts. You know, I thought he was my best friend. I thought he was my brother, my road dog, and my everything. But you know what? Me and Buddy Royal decided to take a year off and away from championship wrestling from Hollywood. I thought we were on the same page on return. Apparently, I was wrong. You know, I've gone through a major transformation in the past year, and I would do anything to etch my name in history here in the United Wrestling Network. Guys like Eli Drake, guys like Colt Cabana, Adam Pierce, even Watts. They've all etched their name in history. But you see, Levi Shapiro is a little bit different. I'm going to do something you've never seen before. And that's not just because I'm going to make my name in history. It's because I'm timeless. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jamie Iovine and the United Television Champion, Royce Isaacs. For Royce Isaacs, winning championship gold has been his business. Business has been booming. Former Heritage Champion, current reigning defending television champion, has held NWA World Tag Team title gold as well. And finds himself back in the main event slot here oh, at man. Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. I have been, I only came back for one thing, and that's to get this close to greatness. Jamie Iovine, Royce Isaacs, the champ. He's gonna issue an open challenge from what I'm told. Looking forward to seeing how this goes. This might have been what Adrian Quest was talking about. Maybe he's going to answer the challenge. You are now rocking with the best. The upper class is in the building. And we are back 
with the second edition of the Royce Isaacs Open Challenge. Don't worry. Nico Marquez approved this. This is all official. It's all on the books. Whoever comes out of that curtain is getting a shot at the United television title. Understand this. You are looking at Superman team with Lex Luthor. I look like an action figure. I move like an action star, and I'm all about that action, boss. Jamie, tell these idiots how good I am. We got everything we wanted this year. Christmas was good to me. Hanukkah good just for you, my friend. <laughs> we are so generous that these people do not give us enough credit. See, anybody, anybody can walk through that curtain. We have put each and every one of them down, Royce. All of them. They don't, it's like they watch the show with their eyes closed. They don't see every single time. We put them in the ground and they just want to keep offering us bodies, offering us ta so-called talent. My voice sounds incredible on a microphone. Goodness gracious, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> Is that a Jeff Dunham t-shirt? <laughs> you like puppet shows? I will show. We'll get, anyway, anyway, who is? I mean, they, they got nobody. They, Let's go from the open mouth minute. of Iovine to the open challenge. Who's it going to be? Who's coming out? And oh. ladies and gentlemen, accepting the challenge from Buffalo, New York, Dan Joseph. How about that? Former broadcast partner Dan Joseph. Coming off of a big victory over Ty Matthews at Milestone. He's got the people behind him. He believes in himself. Open challenge accepted. Mr. Milk and Cookies, Dan Joseph. This is, this is going to be great. Dan Joseph, you should have stayed at the broadcast booth where you belong. You don't belong in there with the likes of Royce Isaac. You have no business being in there. And if you think you're walking home with that title, you are sadly mistaken. I disrespectfully disagree with you there. I mean, I got to tell you, Dan Joseph looks like he's in the best shape of his life. Don't let the shirt fool you. I'm in good shape too, Steve. There you see what it's all about. The United Television title on the line. No hijinks this time. As Isaac said himself, Nico Marquez putting the stamp of approval on this. This is a sanctioned television title matchup. This will count. Huge opportunity for Dan Joseph. Dan Joseph, don't sleep on him. A former tag team champion as a member of Pac-3 back in the day. For sure the biggest uh, match of his life. He's never competed uh, at this level against a champion like Royce Isaacs here. Answering the open challenge. Dan Joseph, these people love him. I know you don't love him. I don't love him at all. Every single time I'm out here, all we talk about is a former broadcast partner, a former broadcast partner. He doesn't even think about you like that. Doesn't that make you angry? Well, hopefully someday you'll be his former broadcast partner. Hopefully. It seems to end up pretty well for people. It does, actually. Reversal there by the champion. Nice agility by Dan Joseph. Catches him with a cross body. Boy, he just gave me a look here, Jess. Jo Dan Joseph. Dan Joseph comes out like this, this gigantic ball of fire. But you know what, there's only so much gas, there's only so much uh, gas in your tank that you can have, and, and Dan Joseph's gonna run out very fast going against Royce Isaacs like that. Yeah, Royce Isaacs is running out of the ring really fast, running for the hills, and Dan Joseph, he's gonna keep that full court press on. He knows the weight of this opportunity, the magnitude of this opportunity, and he is going for broke, guys. He better go for broke, he has a lot on the line. If he goes out there, squanders it, and screws it all up, he'll never hear the end of it. It's been all Dan Joseph since he's come out here. He has, I mean, well, Isaacs wasn't prepared for Dan Joseph. It well, was that's, an the, that's the nature of an open well, challenge, yeah. and it might bite the champ. You, you make an open challenge, you gotta be willing to, to deal with what comes through the curtain, and Joseph, He's coming out here like a house on fire. Uh-oh, caught there though. Oh, a lot of power in the champion. Beautiful wow. throw by the television title holder. Royce Isaacs nullifying the early advantage in onslaught into the cover now. Only a count of one there, guys. Take nothing away from the tenacity and accountability of Dan Joseph. He understands where his place is in this business, and I get that he likes being in that ring. But the fact of the matter is that Royce Isaac is way too smart for a man like that. He has too much on the line to let it go for a stupid mistake. Dan Joseph has absolutely no shot in hell of getting that title. Hey, Mark my words. I got I to gotta make a point here. Do you know how many 
uh, Royce Isaac's matches Dan Joseph called and analyzed when he was up here point, in the yeah. broadcast position. He, he has been looking for weaknesses. In the cover now goes the champion. So he is mentally, you got to believe, extremely well pre prepared for this opportunity. Well, that 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 might be because Dan Joseph then has a better average, has a better opportunity than everybody else. That that should be a lot to be proud of. We'll see if he can cash in on that opportunity. Right now, the champion control. We got to take a break. We'll be back right after this. Mom, thank God you're going to be okay. I'm so relieved, but you both should know when my time comes. I have a final expense policy. Is final expense the life insurance policy that helps loved ones pay for funeral expenses and other debts? Bill and I called to get more information. Yes, and there's an immediate payout of up to $30,000. The Silver Care Life Plan will pay up to $30,000 for funeral and other final expenses. Your rate will never increase and your benefits can never be decreased. Your coverage can never be canceled. Call now. There is no medical exam. Your approval is guaranteed. Speak with an experienced advisor to see how final expense coverage can help you. Make the call now. There is no obligation. I'm going to call today. Ask about the free prescription discount card. Oh, so glad you'll be taken care of. Severe weather can mean storm damage to the roof of your home. If you have a leak and need a repair, need a brand new roof, or just need a simple cleaning, let Pro Shingle help today. Go to ProShingle.com or call 901-258-6503. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is Saturday, February 29th for AEW Revolution. Arrive early for the best seating plus. Mention Championship Wrestling and get unlimited video games for the entire night. Dave & Buster's Wolf Chase. Our birthday bash is coming up and you're invited. It's the Championship Wrestling Birthday Bash presented by Pro Shingle live at AutoZone Park on Saturday, April 25th. Oh yeah, tickets available at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. I care about you. Welcome back, everyone. Television title on the line as part of this open challenge by champion Royce Isaacs. And, and, and Royce Isaac getting a, a real run for his money thus far. It was a great start for Dan Joseph, who's run into some hurdles ever since. But beautiful back elbow there by the challenger. Wow. Dan Joseph. Uh-oh. Variation of that sign me power slam there by the champion. Beautifully done, put a dollar sign on it. Here's the cover, can't put him away. A lot of heart in Dan Joseph. I mean, there's, it's no coincidence that Roy Isaacs is the champ, and maybe Dan Joseph came out here thinking he was open, answering an open challenge to the referee, Isaac. <laughs> when, you, when you have studied somebody so well as you say that Dan Joseph has, for Mr. Roy Isaacs, to go out here and watch him week after week after week and analyze his matches and figure out what kind of moves he does and see his game plans, that's one thing. But you are a champion because you already have that skill set. You already have those analytics ready in your brain. And Royce Isaacs is very, very smart. This is a match between two bulls that are locking horns at a very alarming rate right now. And the, the, the grip strength here of Royce Isaacs, he's a real powerhouse. So trying to get that chin out from under that grasp and Dan Joseph able to do it. But you're right, he does have the skill sets, does the champion. He's not there for no reason. And you can be as prepared as you want mentally, but nothing can prepare you really for the sheer athleticism and power of the television champion. And let's not forget the X Factor on the outside, Jamie Iovine, the man with the silver spoon, has, has got nothing but gold since he's come here to championship wrestling. 
There was nobody home on that senton, eating nothing but canvas there. No water in the pool there, Todd. No water in the pool, Stu Stone, that's correct. And this is my final week here on my uh, on my beautiful, illustrious trip here to visit you guys here at Championship Wrestling Room Hollywood. I've been so impressed by all the action. The PP3 Cup tournament's been outstanding. And now we've got this, Dan Joseph, with his first crack at Royce Isaac, answering the open challenge. And he looks like he's up to the task here. Oh, shot after shot here by Dan Joseph. Looking to turn the tables here on the champion. Oh, what power on display in his own right with the suplex into the cover. Gonna make oh, history. Oh, oh. No. Close, but no cigar. You can only do so much, Kennedy, before I guess your tank runs out of gas. Oh, oh look at that. Backstabber. And oh. now looking to take home the gold. Here we go. Wow. Another close call. Where are you going, Stu Stone? You got direct scarecrows too? I hope so. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, <laughs> Jamie Iveen on the outside, he can't direct his way out of this trouble. He's gotta be worried. Dan Joseph, he's got all the momentum right now, and Joseph's gonna hook him up. Look at that. I love Third it. Slam Almost a variation of the snow plow there. Well, he's from the East Coast. He's cleared some snow in the past. And almost put him away. Almost made history. Guys, that was a close call there, guys. The man from Buffalo is on fire right now. I'll say this, I've never seen Royce Isaacs take on the amount of abuse that he has been taken right now by Dan Joseph. Dan Joseph has his crowd behind him and he knows it. Dan Joseph very, very well may be a new champion here today, but up comes Royce Isaacs and oh. boom, you ain't gonna fool me that easy. Buffalo Bills had four cracks at a championship, went 0 for four. Let's see if uh, Dan Joseph can be batting a thousand here, but it's not looking good right here in a very precarious situation. Oh my goodness. Beautiful slam there by the champion into the cover, dead center of the ring. And he does it again, slips that shoulder out of there. And Dan Joseph fights on crucifix. He's got him hooked. A Close call again. Taking advantage of that, of that lull of time by Royce Isaacs did Dan Joseph. Very, very smart and cunning on his part. Couldn't put him away with the crucifix. Might be living oh. on a prayer right now as the knees go weak again for the challenger. Not a lot behind that shot, guys. Well, Dan Joseph is trying every single thing he can. But again, now they don't have him. They don't have Royce Isaacs as a champion for nothing. He has. To, look at this. Look at the wow. dead weight by Joseph. Oh and down my he gosh! Goes. And that looked nasty. So nasty. Folded him up. Somehow, Dan Joseph hanging in there. Nightmare pendulum maneuver there. Just absolutely compacted the challenger. And you know, Ty Matthews once said, you're a shell of your former self. Dan Joseph trying to prove wow. otherwise. Well, that's gonna do it though. Hush money, gonna silence the challenge. And still. No! He kicked out! Dan Joseph kicked out! I cannot How believe in the it. world! Unbelievable! I don't believe it, I just saw! Isaacs put everybody away with that! Look at the eyes of Iovine. This open challenge gonna come back to haunt him. But what can possibly Dan Joseph have left after that? I have no idea, but all I know is we are in very, very deep waters here. Open challenge. Iovine and Isaacs may, may be regretting this open challenge. They've thrown everything at Dan Joseph and, oh, wait a minute. Joseph with a roll up here. What? Taking advantage. Oh, no. The official dropping all the way to the floor now. And you want to talk about taking advantage, Isaacs will be all too happy to take advantage oh, wait, of the temporary absence of an official, you've uh, got to believe. He's pointing, he's pointing that championship. He said, bring me that belt, bring it in here. Directing traffic here, here comes Jamie Ivey. We've seen this before, guys. Not like this. The beginning of the end here for Dan Jones. Oh wait, no! He dropped down! He dropped down, and Isaacs caught all of that shot! Dan Joseph just now realizing where he is, got all his bearings up, as Jamie Ivey still can't believe what he just did! This crowd is on fire! Come on, Dan, you got this! Iovine born with a silver spoon, but he just hit his own man with the gold! Isaacs, he doesn't know where he is, the champion, using the rope for leverage to try and get back to his feet! Dan Joseph, the first ever graduate from the championship wrestling from Hollywood School, is about to make history perhaps here. Look at this, he's got the champ where he wants him. Look he's got him hooked down, up. long way down. Wait, the Here's the cover, new official. Joseph, no. no. ah! Joseph, this just won the championship. Dude, what? here is your winner. Do you believe in miracles?
Indeed. Unbelievable. It's official. Making history. Dan Joseph is the champion. Making us proud. Dan Joseph did it. He did it for himself. He did it for his family. For everybody that didn't believe. Ty Matthews can eat his words now. Show of his former self. I don't think so. This is crazy. I Dan can't. Joseph is your new champion. I can't believe what I just saw. This is a travesty. This is something we shouldn't be seeing right now. Get that man out of there. The match wasn't sanctioned. The hey. match wasn't sanctioned. The, thr the thrill of victory, the agony of defeat on the other end. Get used to it, Jassic. You're gonna see him week in and week out on your video scope partner, because he is the United Television Champion. Royce Isaac and Jamie Ivey's worst nightmare is Dan Joseph's dream come true. He is your new champion, and I'm so proud of him. Dan Joseph, I love you, buddy. Congratulations and muzzle toe. I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Heard the chance of Dan the man, incredible. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, the former champion. The open challenge is now closed. <laughs> yeah. Jamie Ivey gonna be sleeping in the guest house tonight. Yeah, he had, a, he had a big role to play in this. That shot with the title right to the cranium of the former champion. That, that led to the beginning and the end here. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my goodness, is Isaac's gonna pop him? What, is, what does that mean? Did he just wash his hands of this relationship, of this partnership? Oh, he's not even looking, he's, he's walking up the crowd. He's not even going through the back now. Jamie Ivey just got dumped. And Dan Joseph, he's the champion. Yeah, let's not this take anything amazing. away from that. History made, Dan Joseph, your new television champion. Go back and cry to daddy. We'll see you next week. I won't. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us for another action-packed week of professional wrestling and the crowning of a new champion. Oh my, what a storybook return it's been for Dan Joseph, a hero called to action from the commentary table by an evil cultist, only to be betrayed by his former tag partner and friend. And after overcoming all that, he defeats Royce Isaacs for the United TV Championship fair and square. Isaacs debuted in the PP3 a couple years back and has been dominant in the ring and with his tricks ever since. Yeah. We know Jamie Ivan has a lot to do with those tricks, but today they backfired. And Jamie is the reason Royce is no longer champion. That's exactly right. Not only is Royce no longer champion, but judging by the interaction between Jamie and Royce, as well as the way he just walked off, he may be done for good. It seems the reign of terror from the upper class might be over, but now the people have a new champion. Mm -hmm. One the kids can look up to. Yep. One that parents can believe in. One that we can <laughs> all root for. Okay, settle down. Congrats <laughs> to Dan Joseph on his big win. Join us again next week for more exciting action, including the first PP3 semifinal matchup. He's Dustin. I'm Maria. We'll see you next week.